Doc, the great Doc. Where's Doc? He used to be 24. Razor. Come on, Doc. Like He's, He's, strong. Strong. He's strong as well? Okay. Yeah. <coughs> been around for a while. We got some reasonably This is his players. second round. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, they're very good players around here. Nemo, <laughs> how are you feeling energy-wise? I'm feeling, break? no, I'm feeling great. You're ready to go? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. thanks. <laughs> uh, she could play all day. Now you got to play with Doc? And the dog. Yeah. And the dog. Yeah. Make the moves. I am used to play all day. How are you? She's used Good. To How are you? Be careful. He bites. He bites. The dog does. The dog does. The dog does. <laughs>
Tennis is forgiving either, but chess is not they can do that. They, they do that. Uh, forgive somebody. Chess is not fork giving, Ron. It's <laughs> fork not fork giving. It's not. It's That's not a good pun. Giving. It's for receiving. <laughs> fork, fork giving. It was a good pun. Yeah. <gasps> That's like a good a, move. Like a Maybe I, didn't admit, I made pun. No, they're right. Chess is very much not forgiving. <laughs> I agree now. I think there was a better defense. I'm also low on time. Yeah. It's a good metaphor for life. Yeah, sure. I think I have comments, right? No, I don't know. I've lost two games in the afternoon. Not doing well? No, I lost three. I lost three. I lost three. Oh, okay. I'm like forcing my turn. Me? Yeah. I don't. But uh, I appreciate. I appreciate the confidence. Rook D two. There's rookie A, Queen H five. Oh, you saw that. Oh, you saw it. Wait a second. Did you guys see that? Oh yes. Mm -hmm. Wait, laser saw. I see that beat. That's pretty. pretty don't don't kibitz. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't kibitz. Sorry. He's like that. I, I wanted to warn you about it, but I totally forgot about that. We can't. You know. Black still wins. What? What? Nope. Shh. Nope. Shh. Quiet. Quiet right on the side. This is the reason. All right, no. good game. No. Right. Okay, I'm gonna take a break. <laughs> yeah, it's all good. It's not tired. It has no excuse in life. It's it's just. I know, no, no. I over pushed that middle game again. Well, you threw the kitchen sink down. Yeah. You were distracted by the dog.
Hey guys, Brian here, and what a game by Nemo and Duck here. Wow, Nemo just threw the kitchen sink at Duck, like Duck said at the end, and Nemo threatening mate here, but Duck had this tactic here. And for those who are wondering, why didn't Nemo just push the pawn? Because if she did, then of course this will be checkmate. So, um, gotta interpose with the rook, but of course, pin it and win it, and that rook is gone. So, wow. Nicely done, Duck. I, I feel like Duck is style of play it's like a combo of carlini and dave in the sense that he will invite you to attack him give him your best shot and then once that attack fizzles out then he comes in for a beautiful attack and mate really nice game by duck if you guys want to get him coffee for that beautiful win his link is in the video description and let's figure out nemo actually had chances to attack in this game i don't know if you guys saw it so in the game we had b5 let's go move back pause the video it will be another move for black here Yes, Black has knight g5, and let me just show you what um, Black is planning. So I'm going to make a dumb move for White. You have this check, and it doesn't matter where the king goes. All three options lead to checkmate, so that is what um, Black is planning. So going over here, a logical move. Yeah, just knight back to defend, right? What would you play as Black? Yes, now you have rook d2. Notice the knight was kind of... Um, in the way but now you have two on this and um what are you gonna do wait black just hung the bishop right take what would you play as black here yes knight takes e4 hitting the queen queen comes back and now you play this rook check and uh, where this king literally can't go anywhere so queen has to take Knight takes, king takes, and now you can pin it and win it. And um, black is winning here at negative five point eight. So it's a very hard, uh, it's a hard line to see because you have to visualize the knight moving here. You have to visualize this. You have to visualize, calculate the queen taking the bishop, and it, it's a very, very hard line to calculate it. But it was there. Um, let's go here in this position, and in the game we had knight e six. Let's go move back. Will be another move for black here. Yes, one idea is immediate rook d2, and just to show you what, what black is planning, basically you're going to have this check and mate. So going over here, um, do you really have time to take this? If you take it, then obviously you have the rook check, and now it um, doesn't matter where the king goes. Either way, let me just show you one line. This is a very long line, but it is forced mate. Um, so queen check, take, take. And now you can bring in the bishop and um, threatening mate here, so rook over. But um, it's going to require some finessing here. And eventually, <laughs> you're going to bring the bishop back. And now you're threatening mate on both squares and can't stop both. And white has to sack the queen to delay the inevitable. But yeah, so going over here, one idea for black, I mean white maybe, to come here and just say, all right, I might have to sack my queen for it. So a lot of you are thinking just, yeah, right? wrong this is a really long calculation you have to think of so queen takes bishop takes but now you don't take back you take with tempoing the queen and now you can take and now you have three pieces for the queen so got to be a little bit careful going over here you gotta play something like knight takes first and this could be one continuation and now you can play the, um that a pawn that'll be your plan for black so Oof, yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty a uh, gnarly attack there to calculate, but it was there. And last but not least, here in this position in the game, Rook H6 was played, but maybe um, she saw the threat here and here, so maybe just G6 and kind of tuck yourself in here, and you're fine. And alas, this was her last chance to uh, save the position in the game. We had Queen D2, but um, one idea for Black. Pause the video so you can find it. Yeah, it's actually to move the rook out of the way. So if white follows up with this plan, then um, queen h5 check. Now the queen can come in for defense here. And uh, this could be one continuation. White is still winning, but um, but at least you don't kind of fall for this uh, the pin it and win it that we saw at the end. But Wow, fantastic game by Nemo and Duck. I know you guys were waiting for this one. It's, uh, it's always nice <laughs> to see the new people play. The final boss and duck so um it's a great game and they actually played another game and there are a lot of other people that nemo played as well so 
definitely look forward to that. Um, we'll kind of sprinkle those in in the coming days. But yeah, it was a very, very nice game by Duck. Give me your best shot. She threw the kitchen sink. There was opportunity, but very, very hard to see. And Duck able to absorb the blow and come back with a nice um, attack on his own like he always does. So nicely done, Duck. All right, hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you like again in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe with that bell notification. Thanks. I'll see you guys tomorrow.